make a zombie in Blender for Unity games and in part 3 we are going to do uh, animation but before that uh, something we should have done in the previous video we should have checked for the normals so we are, doing, we are going to do that now check for the normals turn off bone view select the uh, mesh press N under shading select GSL texture solid and then scroll uh, look for the uh, display go to edit mode tap to edit mode look for normals under mesh click normals Examine the normals to ensure it's all the right direction. If the normal is not in the right direction, then you need to fix it by opening the side bar here and click recalculate. So let's close everything, turn off the normals view, and unselect all. Out of, get out of that out of edit mode back into object mode and uh, turn on the bone view now we are going to create the animation or oh, not two extra uh, pins the first one set it to timeline second one set it to dope sheet we are just going to have two, <coughs> two animations idle and walk so for idle put the timeline at frame 1 enter the uh, pose mode press A to select all bones press I to insert keyframe Click on lock rock scale to insert a keyframe. Select first keyframe. Command C to copy. Go to frame 20. Command V to paste. Go to frame 40. Command V to paste. Rewind and play. Nothing yet. So now we are going to alter the uh, keyframe in frame 20. Select the spine. Tap press 3 to go side view. Press R to rotate. Press enter. To insert this new keyframe in position 20 print press A select all insert press I lock not skill now we have a new keyframe in position 20 rewind and play yes rewind play again yes that is the uh, idle animation now rewind back to the first frame, uh, press M to insert the marker, press Ctrl M to rename the marker as IDLE, I -D -L -E. so that is the first marker for the first uh, uh, frame, first uh, click the animation. The second animation we're going to do is the uh, walk animation. So walk animation, go to frame 40, insert a marker, press M, Control M to rename the marker to walk, click OK, and then select frame 40. Command C to copy, go to frame 50, Command V to paste, 
go to frame 60 command V to paste go to frame 70 command V and finally go to frame 80 command V again so we have uh, keyframes at frame 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80 frame 60 will be the same as frame 40 frame 80 will be the same as frame 60 so frame 40, 60, 80 will be the same pose frame 50 and 70 will be the uh, walking pose frame 50 will be right leg forward frame 70 will be left leg forward so we, we just need to modify frame 50 and frame 70 so go to frame 50 select the right leg press 3 to side view press R to rotate the right leg forward and rotate the lower leg down S select the left upper leg now R to rotate back that is the uh, position of the leg as for the arms the right arm will be uh, slightly higher we'll go to 3 side view R to rotate my right arm slightly higher press the uh, right arm press free side view bring the right arm slightly lower press 1 to find you rotate the spine slight right press A to select all bones press I Lock on scale. Now go to frame 70. Do the same thing for the other half of the body. Press 3 side view. Press R. Right leg up. Lower leg down. Up a little more. Now the other leg, rotate, press R, for this, the right arm will be higher than the left, R, right arm up, left arm, R, bring it down. One to go find you. Tilt the body slightly to the right. Press A to select all. Press I to insert keyframe. Click lock on skin. Now rewind the play playhead to frame 40 and play. Yes. So those are the two animations uh, that we need. You can also drag the uh, playhead to test. Again, try. Right foot forward. Left foot forward. That's it. So we have completed this uh, part of the video where we inserted two uh, animation clips. Idle, idle, and walk. That's all for this video. Next video, we shall uh, do the texture painting. Thank you for watching.